July. Now, today is 10 weeks post-op. The last time I did one of these, we were just coming up to nine weeks post-op. So the ninth week was actually the most momentous week of all. And I think that another major corner was turned at that stage. Now I'll tell you what I did. So in week eight, I went to see the consultant. He told me to go and get my big girl panties on and hitch it up a notch. So I had been, uh, up until the 18th, I'd been on 100 degrees flexion with the physio for the last two weeks. And then they shut for Christmas and I haven't yet been back and I don't go back until the 21st of January. Uh, so um, I was getting a bit naffed off with this and the surgeon told me that I needed to try harder. So I went to work and borrowed the spin bike because I still wasn't able to ride my own. Parked it on the porch of our house and rode it every single day. Yes, including Christmas day. And when I started it off, I remember quite clearly the first one, um, 45 minutes and my knee did not stop hurting for the whole 45 minutes. I almost gave up and got off but he told me that I needed to persist longer than I had been doing. So I kept on pedaling until the knee stopped hurting. And this is what I did. This is what I still do each time I get on it. Now, within about five days of doing this, my knee had stopped hurting within 15 to 20 minutes of pedaling rather than 45. The difference so quickly was really quite amazing. Now, I don't change the seat height. Um, it's still set to the same height as when I did spin classes. And I keep on pedaling until it stops hurting and I don't have to hitch my hip and I can sit squarely on the seat and pedal properly. I use uh, some of my work uh, workout playlists on, on Spotify. I just plug my earphones in. And this is what it ended up looking like. The progress is quite incredible. Within eight to ten days of doing this every single day, I had gained 15 degrees in on range, range of motion. Now, I measured it and I got Mark in to double check it to make sure that I was reading it correctly. So from when I stopped physio on the 18th of December to um, yesterday, which is two weeks since physio, I have gained 15 degrees. Now the physiotherapist said back weeks ago to me that the normal progress is five degrees a week until you get to 90 and then it slows down a bit. And I hear her talking to other patients uh, that come to knee class and she was rejoicing that they'd gained two, three, sort of four degrees. Um, but two weeks of riding on a bike every single day, 15 degrees range of motion. Now I still, hadn't tried my actual bike because, well, I was quite afraid, actually, I might never be able to ride it again. And it had so many failures at trying it. I wanted to be completely doubly sure that it felt all right on the spin bike before I even tried it back again. So what else have I been doing? Well, we also increased walking. Now, um, like I say, back in week eight, I asked the surgeon what that looked like. And he said, your knee will tell you it'll start hurting or it'll swell up. So I thought, well, okay, and he told me to carry on going until that happened, either one of those. So, right, let's take this up a notch. So in week nine, I exercised nine times in week nine, and I looked back through my diary because I keep a record of everything, and I have done for the whole of the last two years. It's more than 12 months since I was able to do that. I, my, my average of exercise a week um, this year, Right, and I kept on going back thinking, oh, you know, early on in the year, January, February, March, it was all right then, rosy tinted glasses, all that sort of thing. Nope. One to two times a week, and that was all I could manage. So we started adding walking because I, I was quite keen to be able to increase the walking um, and build back walking fitness. And I had no idea where to start with this. So we went for a walk around the park. 
and it's not a very big park and it was about a 35 minute walk and it was probably 25 minutes too long <laughs> however never mind he told me to keep on going until it was too hard and so I did and then I sit down in a seat every now and again once I get to the wall where the knee goes nap I sit down and I rest and I sit down and I rest and I do get a bit slower but I keep on going to the end and we've repeated that so the next time I did is a week later the same walk in the park not a problem at all I was quite surprised and I'm still quite surprised how fast it's improving since I have decided to take the bull by the horns so then we decided to walk the estuary. I wanted to walk somewhere off-road that was a little bit more challenging but still quite flat because downhill is still really difficult. Uphill isn't massively great but uh, uphill slight slopes I can manage but downhill is still really hard and I still use walking poles. I was advised to use walking poles. So we went on the estuary and the estuary's maybe 45, 50 minute loop right round. My original aim was to walk from the car park to the bridge, which I thought might take 15, 20 minutes and then back. And I thought that'd be it. When I got to the bridge, I felt fine, but I needed to sit down. And there's a seat like over there at the other end of the bridge, the other end of the path. So I thought, oh, we'll carry on. We'll go and we'll sit in that seat and then we'll go back. And then when I got to the seat, I pondered whether um, I was actually best to go back or best to carry on because it looked about halfway and it did, was actually halfway. So, well, <laughs> let's carry on. So I walked the entire loop and I did not imagine in a million years I'd be able to manage that so quick. That was 50 minutes and yeah, it was about 40 minutes was about enough and it's like, right, okay, Mark, go get the car. But it's an off-road track, so he couldn't. So I'd, my last 10 minutes or so was really quite slow, but that's all right, I made it. And again, it was slightly longer than the, the walk around the park, but I made it back and I was quite chuffed. Then we need to um, increase that a bit more. So I decided then uh, I wanted to, to try somewhere different that was quite flat. Um, this time we decided to go to Bluff. Now Bluff is a, an, an extinct volcano, so clearly that's not flat there's a coast path that goes around the outside. Now Mark decided he was going to run up and over the top of the hill and down the other side and send me along the coast path. Now we have done something similar to this before and we called it Witch Feet 1 and he, I, I um, dropped him off halfway up the hill. He ran over the top down the other side and I walked uh, the glory track and we wanted to see who would get back to the junction of the glory track first. This time, we have we he went. We started in the same place, and the question was who would get to the the lookout point, turnaround point first. Here's how we went. The race of Bluff Hill Take Two. So the last time we did this was before my knee replacement, and I dropped Mark on Gun Pit Road, and then drove down here and did the glory track. Today he is oh and I beat him. Today he is going to go up the glory track over the top of Bluff Hill down the other side and he thinks I'm going to make it all the way to the lookout point, which according to the sign says 30 minutes. The question is one, will I make it to the lookout point? Because I've been walking 20 minutes already to get to here. Two, if I do, who'll get there first? Let's see. Hmm? Twenty-ish minutes since I left Mark, and I'm beginning to wish there was a pa uh, seat on this path. I made it. Just as it's starting to rain, great. At the furthest away point, and I got here in 30 minutes. Which is pretty freaking amazing because that's what the sign said and I did not expect that. Right, I'm at the junction of the track where Mark will come down off the top of Bluff Hill. I really could do with sitting down and I've got a bench right here but I'm not sure how long I dare sit here because the rain has started and I don't know if it's a passing shower or whether I need to make a run for the hills. I decided I better make a run for it. Well, there's not much running going on, but I better head back because I don't want to get caught in a 
torrential downpour although I might because the speed I walk at is the speed I walk at so cross your fingers and hope it doesn't happen before I get there so it's been about an hour since Mark ran off up the glory track I'm now on my way back will I get back to the start of the glory track before him that's the next question dang it my next goal was to get to the glory track again before you. When I got to the lookout, it was pissing down. Yeah. Well, I didn't get that way because I was in the trees. So I didn't stop. And do you know another thing? There's no benches anywhere until the lookout. Oh, yeah, you're right. Mm. There are some. However, do you know another thing? No. 30 minutes is how long it took me to get to there. That's what the sign said. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> continue to be pretty freaking stoked because I made it all the way there that was 50 minutes and back which took me twice as long and I got there in the same time that the DOC signs said it would take me and I didn't imagine in a million years I would manage that either so I was feeling pretty pleased so then we go back to the bike now I can't do one thing all of the time and it's been holiday season so I have been out of the pool but the last time I went to the swimming pool I did um 80 links straight straight off the bat now swimming is fine my leg only took three or four swims back to be just fine again swimming and I can swim now perfectly normal freestyle and I could not beforehand at all Mark says that my walking certainly for the first 40 minutes or so till I get tired is much better than it was before the op um, and he kept telling me to slow down he's not said that to me for years uh, but the cycling, that's still the thing that's getting on my nerves. So, um, this is how I've progressed the cycling. So I started off with just no resistance at all. And then once I was able to do that for 30 minutes without a problem, then I started adding a bit of speed in on songs. Now, I keep calling him and telling him to look at this, look at this, hey, look at this. And I got him to video one of these and I thought this was speed. It's not. So Mel, we need to dial it up some more. So then I added on a bit of resistance and songs that were slower, I would add resistance so that I was still working hard and my feet were going at the same pace. Then I found songs that had a suitable speed that I could double speed sprint. And I only made them five to eight seconds long. And that was going quite well. Today, I felt good at the end of all of that. Now today is the day after yesterday. Well, clearly since yesterday I did an hour's bike and two and a half hour walk. So I wasn't even sure whether I should get on the bike this morning, but it felt pretty good. The leg felt pretty good. So I thought, I wonder if the Cervelo will work. This is the thing that's really getting to me. And I have started to put clip shoes on on the spin bike because I have got some clip shoes for spin bikes. And I, it's getting better, but I'm still not entirely sure how I will get off in a hurry. That's not yet been sorted. However, I can clip the foot in and out, which involves a twist of the leg, which I couldn't do beforehand. But will the Cervelo pedals go round? Watch this. I am feeling pretty freaking stoked with this last 10 days because I feel like now I can probably say to you that we are starting to get to the point where this knee is better than it was before. Now I haven't been up a hill and I haven't been out on the road on a bike yet but I know that I can and there are so many things that I can now do that I couldn't do before and I can now exercise like I used to. It's making me a much happier person and I'm starting to feel positive about this new knee for the first time since I've had the thing put in my leg. So, week nine, week 10, if you're on a knee journey, that was my turnaround week. Week five and week six sort of time was when it started to show me that it could do stuff. Week nine, week 10, I'm starting to see my life back better than it was before. So I'm feeling pretty happy. <laughs> 